Welcome back. Welcome back to me. Welcome back to you. Just back from vacation late last night. And uh, one of the things that I had mentioned while I was gone on some comment threads to some videos I did, I pre-recorded to be released while I was gone, was I um, had talked about some catfish setups, right? And before we kind of talk about my setups, I had did make some changes to mine. Um, I wanted to make sure I gave you the info that I promised I would give you. Now, I'm not saying this is your only option or, or even your best option. Truth is, I haven't even tried this option. But as I spoke with people who had experienced leveling up and targeting catfish at a much earlier level than I ever did, basically using catfish as a way to grind silver out because uh, when catfish are hot they apparently are pretty lucrative um, especially when you can get here to Octuba of course but let's talk about what I was mentioning um, let's start with the rod first okay uh, the combination that I was mentioning in in involves the rocket C casting rod okay so let's look at this and let's look at the price here, at least here at Octuba. Um, the Rocket C casting rod, and you're going to want the big boy, the one with the big test, right? But you go up to 89.9 .9 kilos. And it runs you 5,196 silver. At least here. And so this is the, this is the cheaper option, right? Um, the thing that makes this a little scary is that lower load capacity. It's high enough to get the job done, but it's low enough to just be a little scary about it, right? The reel that you want to put with that or that you can put with that, I should say. An affordable option to get your catfish on is going to be the Imperial. I'm just making sure I'm, it's, it's, it's this one. This is the right one. Okay. So if I put together a third catfish rig, right now I've got two. If I put a third together, I might consider doing this as my third if I ever wanted to be able to drift three at the same time which to make drifting really efficient it seems like that would be important now this one is um, 9,116 silver but you may be asking, why do people put this reel with the rocket sea rod to go for catfish? Well, this is why. Because those people who have done the testing on max drag on these reels gave this reel, the Imperial, a rating of greater than 98 kilos. So they're saying that you can get at least 98 kilos of force when you lock this baby up. I, I don't know how they do that testing, guys. I, I, I can't confirm this for you. I, all I'm telling you is that that's what has been reported, right? And so you can, for fairly affordable, I mean, what is that? 9,000, I mean, you're definitely talking about less than 14,500 buying it here in Octuba by the way um, and, and, and I'm I, I just can't remember off the top of my head uh, I can't remember kind of where we are with Octuba and prices at this point I think they're pretty decent but I'm not 100% sure on that well here I can tell you I actually can tell you we'll do this real quick We'll just do it on the Lacerdi 2. 
Um, yeah, it's the same prices here as Mosquito, Winding, and Seversky. So you're looking at good prices here. So, um, now, if you were to get that sort of entry-level catfish, not, and this isn't to say you can't catch catfish on cheaper stuff, obviously. People do it all the time. This is trying to get setups that will allow you to effectively or efficiently go after catfish. Um, being able to be more aggressive about it, right? Okay, so this setup has not changed. If you saw my last catfish video, this setup is the same. Uh, notice that we do have the... Oh, by the way, before I do that, let me just tell you. If you want to go with that reel, but you want to get a more expensive rod... So let's say you don't, you've got plenty of silver and you're like, you know, that's a little low on the load capacity. Um, let's see if there's anything, anything else worth considering other than the, the most expensive one. I don't think there is. It's not going to be these. These are just like fancy. Yeah, okay. Oh, I forget about the Trout Master. Okay, the reason why you don't go with the Trout Master, it does have a 100 kilo load capacity, but look at the test. You can't go for catfish with a 35 gram test. So your, your nicer version of getting away. Do none of these have a huge test? They don't. All right, so this is your this is your nicest casting rod, I guess, for catfishing. Because then you're not at that you're not at that you're not cutting it as close on load capacity for the rod. You've got plenty of room. You're at 142 load capacity on this rod. Your test isn't as high though, so you you would have to be a little bit mindful of that. But I think you're still fine based on the weight of the fat lures and um, jig heads that we typically use. So this would be the one that would be the really nice one. But, you know, that is a ton of silver. I mean, you got to really be wanting to burn through some silver. Um, okay, so for our first catfish rig, which you've seen before, we pair the Vingo with the uh, Barracuda. And as is most the time the case we're, for folks going for catfish, if you've got the gear, we're going with 84 kilo heavy braid line, no leader. We are going with a 3.0 jig head. That reminds me, there was something I was going to check on. So somebody was talking about a 50. Yeah, this is the 54 gram. That's it. Okay, I was making sure. This is what I think most people are using these days for catfish. And um, that's that setup. Now, the one that I did not show you last time, because at that point I had an incorrect rod without realizing in my last catfish video, I actually had a rod that had way too low of a load capacity. So if we had hooked into a really big catfish, it's possible I would have broken that really nice rod, that nice, nice casting rod. So what I did is I saved a little bit more silver and ended up purchasing a second Barracuda. Of course, this is a casting Barracuda where the other one is a spinning Barracuda. But now we can put the steel in this on with this one. And now I actually really like this setup because it's a lot more comfortable to cast. So primarily, I jig with this setup and can do casting with this one. Um, I don't know. You know, I might... I might switch that up some, but that is, um, that's what I've been doing. I was going to double check the steelness. I think the steelness is, yeah, we're at least like 93 max kilo, something like that. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, so I thought what we would do here. is uh, go just sort of drift around a little bit and then we'll also do some casting once it gets to be like appropriate catfish time. Um, some exciting news in, uh, in float fishing at Seversky 
I am up to 79.8%. So, I mean, unless we get a crazy bite rate or just get really lucky on one, I doubt we'll hit the next, you know, hit sandwich bait on this video, but I do need to, if it doesn't happen, I need to make a video maybe during happy hour tonight and uh, try to really nail that 80% and uh, celebrate getting the sandwich bait. Yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly where the catfish are. I mean, sometimes when I read on um, the VK site, people talk about the factory. I'm assuming they mean like this hole or this area. So I think we're gonna try to cast, when we're trying to catch them casting, I think we'll try to do that. Uh, kind of cast in that direction. But for now, let's just... Let's just do a little drifting here. Um, yeah, when drifting, I really, you know, I like keeping it pretty close. Make sure it hits the bottom, which usually doesn't take long because these things are so heavy, these jig heads. But I like to keep it pretty close to the boat. Have a lot less time to, um, to reel in. And maybe we'll catch, you know, something here or there before it hits nighttime. And then we'll try to just do a little bit of casting. Let's see if we can't find us a catfish before, uh, before we wrap it up. I don't know. We probably don't want to try to use six here, right? I feel like 18 is so often the answer here at least, compared to Tunguska. Okay. We'll see if, if like the citril and stuff are biting at all. If not, we could try red worm or something else. We also could try a smaller, we've got a 9.8 line on there. Um, if that ends up being too big, we could always try a little smaller. Is that a perch? It's amazing, Tunguska has been so good for leveling up float fishing because it's actually pretty lucrative on those shore spots. And I've gotten comfortable enough that I've really been fine doing um, two match rods at a time now. So that's increased my profit a little bit. And also you just, you know, if you're catching a few more fish, you are uh, again, more of a chance of leveling that float up. And the fish are like really high quality, so I feel like that increases your chance of getting that point. So it's really kind of nice. But especially once it gets to be nighttime, if you're drifting for catfish, I can just see having a third setup being really worth it. That's what we like to see, herring. 
Sometimes I don't see those out here. They're not active. Sometimes it's just situl. So it's cool to see one. Like it. That's a sitchel, right? We are catching fish. And when you're fishing cat for catfish, if you're casting for them, you want to be. Um, You want to be downstream. In other words, the current's pulling the catfish towards you. It just helps with the whole process of landing it. Because I was out of town when the last patch notes hit, I haven't really had a chance to like look closely at it. I, I mean, I did sort of read over it quickly. It was kind of weird. I mean, I, I saw that one of the things that got nerfed was the trolling with the rodents. So I thought that was really strange. Apparently I was doing something wrong because for me, the rodents were uh, impossibly slow. Like I was not getting bites on them at all trolling. So if they got nerfed further, then that tells me that I was doing something wrong with how to use those. I don't know. So I'm still sort of in recovery mode from getting back into town after vacation. And uh, we actually had some family kind of come with us, or not exactly at the same time, but they're visiting us after at the end of the week they'll be here for like just a day passing through so um my content uh, may be a little bit limited here in the next day or so but hopefully if not tonight hopefully tomorrow night i'll get to stream again and uh, we'll try to get back on a regular rotation just in terms of content in general I guess I probably started this video a little early, but it's fine. I wanted to make sure we had a chance to talk through the um, setup options that I had mentioned before. There seem to be a lot of questions about that. Folks who are wanting to get into uh, fishing for catfish, but looking for some options on, on how to approach it. haven't hit it big with float fishing but we have been catching some decent fish out here on float while waiting i'm surprised we haven't jigged uh jigged i mean we are using jigging rigs but i'm just surprised we haven't just like drifted into a um at least a river mussel or something that's a decent little sigil it looks like
Got to fish just a little bit last night. Once we were back into town and was able to land a couple of trophies uh, at Amber. A couple of a mirror carp and a common carp trophy. It was really nice. All right, so this is a small, small guy. This is a Xander. Very cool. Trying to make sure there was no um, tournaments this weekend. I don't think they have announced any more. Ooh, 79.9. Wow. Yep, there is not any more right now. I wonder if they will start those back up again. I don't think we've had one since the get them all in the net one, right? That one's got a little bit of a, that might just be the natural, it's on the ground pull, but looks a little more. Let's see if we get one more bite here on float and then we'll move our boat and maybe try to get some early casts in. An early cast or two. Where'd my camera go? There it is. All right. Let's go ahead and pull these in.
And let's see if we can uh, cast here for an early, early cat. We need to catch at least one catfish here for you before we uh, wrap up the catfish video, right? Honestly, the main thing I wanted to do was really update about the uh, catfish gear. I felt bad that I hadn't mentioned the specifics last time. Yeah, if we're going to be casting into that little hole, like, I feel like we want to be doing it for maybe a little bit down here. We want to, I mean, if nothing else, we could troll into position, I guess. Maybe this will be good. But let's go ahead and use this guy. We'll use retrieval speed of 40 for now. And I think we just want to do a long cast and just kind of cast over. Make sure we get past that hole over there and just sort of bring it back to us. I might even do like a 44 retrieval speed. And we're going to do two rotations. Let's take care of our um, hunger a little bit. Not sure why we haven't gotten jig step yet. Because our boat's not settled. I think that would Maybe it's just because we casted so far, we were coming at some weird elevation uh, changes on the on the ground. But we got it now. All right. So our first hook up here. Let's see what it is. Now, I'm a little partial to drifting for cats, and so that's kind of why I want to get that third set up. But there's no doubt that if you find a good hot spot or a place where the cats are biting, that um, you can do just as well, if not better, in some cases, by casting. So let's do a much shorter cast. Well, not much shorter. Let's try like 80 to 90% cast this time. We're, we're pretty far away from that hole, but it's really more in that direction. Let's do like 80%. Let's see how that works.
All right, let's see if we can get that um, jig step going a little faster here. There we go. Now, the truth is, I mean, I was interrupted by vacation um, and just haven't put the time in yet, but I still have not experienced trying to bring in a really large catfish. One of these days, we'll get to put the theory to the test to see practically how it works out. Uh, I mean, the largest catfish I've had, I think, is still 44 kilos. So, really, a little guy in the big scheme, scheme of things, but he didn't feel like a little guy. It's a long way to bring your lure back and not hook into something. I think I want to go try getting a little bit more in this 15 meter hole real quick. Um, Let's drop the anchor and see if we can't keep the boat straight here. <clears throat> A little straighter by keeping the engine running while the anchor settles. We don't need a long cast. We'll go like 50%. I think that anchor's had a chance to anchor down. Let's try it. I don't know that it always works. Sometimes I feel like it does sort of... Um, we're going to try like a 38 speed here. I feel like sometimes it does keep you from spinning all over the place if you keep your engine running a little longer. Let's see if it actually works this time. We may have to go back to like 40 or 45 retrieval. I'm going to keep trying this all the way in, but I 
If we're not getting jigs, oh, we're still going to switch, aren't we? We didn't move much, though. Let's, uh, and you could probably position the boat, really, you could kind of go over here, cast this way, and then cast that way. Um, it might not be the ideal, like, downriver cast going towards factory, but I think it would work. All right, let's get a little more intense here on retrieval speed. See if we can't get a quicker jig, hit, uh, jig step. deep hole Let's see if we can make sure it gets down there all right you know this retrieval speed is so fast but in some spots it's what it seems to need to get that jig step quickly But a nice fat pause in between. Give that catfish time to, in this case, spawn in and suck it up. try one more time you know we also could go to we could give the uh, monster shad one one attempt here I guess and we might be able to get a little slower jig step let's see Can't find that uh, jig step again.
let's just try one cast with the uh, Vinga. And we'll go more this direction. It's kind of weird. I don't, I don't really know. And then I guess we'll just drift for a couple minutes before the night's over. I need to do some more testing. I'm not used to being, not being able to get the jig step like this. Usually, it hap I mean, it, it, in the past, it seems like it's happened pretty quick. All right, let's just wrap around here and See if we can't get one more fish. One more little fish here. So I definitely had the most success casting sort of towards this hole. In fact, uh, right at the early part of the morning, I'd caught these two catfish there. Then we got the one over there as well. So, um, at least for me right now, that spot over there does seem a little better. something I think we want to go ahead and drop the anchor uh, I'm not saying this is even a, a big f fish but we want to stop moving and then just kind of let the catfish continue to come towards us. I did have my first catfish pop off. In fact, that might have been during one of the videos. Uh, I can't remember. So, you know, they do like shuffle their head a little bit and try to pop off the hook. So just like with any fish, you gotta be somewhat careful. Also need to remember here, I do have things locked up. So with it, this, with the bar this high, we kind of just want to sit here and let it tear it, tire itself out a little bit. And then it'll come back down like that, and we'll keep working on getting it closer. These catfish rigs do really burn through your energy pretty well, though. And there she is. Not bad. Not bad at all. A little 
River Muscle or something, or Xander. It's hard to complain about getting the occasional River Muscle to turn into bait while you're doing this. Yeah, we're towards the end of this. Fifteen meter hole now. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure that drifting this spinner bait would even do anything, but I don't know that I'm going to activate the next ticket unless a fish gets on here pretty quick. We may just um, go ahead and head in here and wrap this one up. It's 5 a.m. now. This is about when I caught those two catfish casting at that 9-meter hole, though. I think you can catch them with re some reasonable success after sun sunrise here in the, in the morning hours. So I'll have to do some more, more testing. I think um, I'd like to do this on stream, and that way folks who have got more experience than I do can come in and and uh, give me some feedback. Um, so that might be fun. I, I'm, if, if I get time to stream tonight, I'll probably do a combination of um, some pretty intense match rod float fishing and then maybe some cat fishing as well. All right, let's make sure that no fish are on because we're about to get we're about to get uh, spawned here. I'm really enjoying catfishing. Um, it, I think some of it's just like a new challenge, uh, but I definitely need to get better at it. I mean, I just I need to understand some stuff better. So let's just see if we made a little silver. I feel like that's one benefit of catfishing. Even um, like the other night, I think I had 12 catfish in one night. A lot of them were small to mid-size, but they add up. 